Should pale death with treble dread make the Ossian caves our bed, God who hears the surge's roll deign to save the suppliant soul. Still tastes of the egg. I'll find some chark in ye, lad. Now's the time for gab and chatter. Let's be enjoying it. Come a fortnight, the brace of us will be wanting to be ever silent as the tomb. Oh, I ain't much for talking. Reckon you're the first? No, sir, I don't. You ain't. You ain't. The chickpea. Fine onions you were. Clean built and trig looking. None more fleet in 64 than she. We were on the brakes. A mutiny it were. Why ask you why? What's the terrible part of a sailor's life? Ask you, lad. Tis when the work stops when you're twixt wind and water. Doldrums, doldrums, eviler than the devil. Boredom makes men to villains, and the water goes quick, lad. Vanished. The only medicine is drink. Keeps them sailors happy, keeps them agreeable, keeps them calm, keeps them stupid. <laughs> Curse me if there ain't an old tar spirit somewhere in you, lad. Out with it, lad. Mm -hmm. What, uh, what made your last keeper leave? Him, me second. Mm hmm. Died. Went mad, he did. Raving about sirens, merfolk, bad omens, and the like. In the end, weren't no more sense left in him than an ant's tooth. He believed that there was some enchantment in the light. He notioned that St. Elmo had cast the very fire into it. Salvation, said he. Seen you sparring with a gull. Best leave him be. Bad luck to kill a seabird. More tall tales. Bad luck to kill a seabird. I mean, no mind, lad. None. Fix us up some coffee. Long night ahead. Drop a coffee will do us good. <laughs> 